In this video, we're going to look at how you can use Postman and JSON Schema to validate incoming JSON data from an API endpoint. This is something you might want to do if, for example, you're processing order information for an e-commerce company, or validating transaction data from a payment gateway, or any other application where you need to make sure that the responses you're getting from an API match the data structures you have on your end. So let's get started. I'm going to call the JSON placeholder API and request a random sample comment. For testing purposes, I want to make sure I'm getting different responses. So I used a pre-request script to add a variable to the endpoint URL. With this, I'll get a different response each time I send the request. Let's take a look at what a response from this endpoint looks like. I see some ID numbers, a name, email address, and a longer string of text for the body. If I want to do any processing on this data, I'm going to want to make sure that every response I get from this API is in the same format. And I want to know whether that data is valid or not before I go ahead and process it. Let's call this endpoint again to see if our next response looks the same. There we go. The values changed, but the keys are the same. With this in mind, it's time to create my schema. I'll head over to the Tests tab. AJV, or another JSON schema validator, is built into Postman. So that will enable me to first define my schema, and then add a test that will tell me if the response data fits the schema. So first, I'll define the schema right here. I've already tested this schema, but if you're building a JSON schema for the first time, there are many free and open source tools out there that you can use to validate your schema as you're building it or even to generate a JSON schema directly from your JSON data. Looking at my JSON data, I know that the fields I'm expecting include two ID numbers, which are both integers, a name, which is a string, an email address, which is also a string, and we can also specify the email format for this key, and the body of the comment, which is a string. And I'm going to make all of these fields required. And finally, I'm going to add a test so that I can see if the incoming JSON data matches the JSON schema that I defined. If any of the responses are missing any of these values, or if the values don't match the data type that I specified, validation will fail. OK, now let's send a request and see what we get back. So as expected, the test passed, and I can see that the response contains valid JSON data. Now the possibilities are endless. Knowing that my incoming JSON data is valid and predictable, I can extract data from it, store values in environment variables, set up reporting and visualizations, and so much more. <laughs>